Hello everyone, my name is Brian and welcome to Overland Calling. Are you thinking about working from the road and want to find your very own mental oasis? Well, if you are, you came to the right spot because that's what we're talking about here today. Let me put a shirt on and let's talk about this. So a quick little bit about me. I've been working from the road going on my third year now. Um, I'm typically out for anywhere from a week at a time to right now I'm at the 50 day mark. Um, I don't I don't live on the road or anything like that. I hop back and forth between home and on the road. Also, I have what some people might call a professional job. I work a nine to five. I do remote management, emails, spreadsheets, all that. It's my life. I just say this to let you know that I might know a little bit about what I'm talking about firsthand. I'm not making up theories here and it's changed my life for the better. So I wanted to share it with you. Is this video just for people who want to camp and work? Nope. No, this video applies to anybody that wants to go camping, just travel internationally, hotel style, um, RV, like it doesn't matter. And I'm not talking about living on the road, but you can do this anywhere from one day on. It's just up to you. Now, first off, that opening scene was a picture of paradise. Well, I got news for you. Social media is not real, people. You saw that little picture of perfection, but not the full reality that I'm living here every day. This exists, honestly, after my working hours, because that's the only time shade hits this pool and I can actually get in get in here and do work on a computer or something like that because this computer is not going to survive outside in the heat. I'm in Death Valley, people, the hottest place on earth. Holy crap, this is a big jet. So I spend most of my time right here at my rig, doing work, hiding in the shade moving around to different sides of my car, like you name it. Like if there's shade, I'm getting in it. Now, this is the desert. So those are desert specific issues. Well, guess what? There are issues with every single environment that I've been in. Whether it's a mountaintop lake, whether it's a mountaintop ridge, whether it's the desert, whether it's the beach, like every single place has its own unique goods and bats, and you're going to have to deal with them both. You don't get all the goods and no bats, at least not in any place I've found yet. In general, I've had the most success replicating my office conditions at home with, you know, where I'm working and ergonomic work set up, um, trying to control the hot and cold as much as possible, which by the way, it's really hard to type when it's super cold outside because your fingers don't work. There's a cold weather tip, get a heater. Just a heads up, this is an investment of time and or money because your work is what you do to put food on the table. You can't screw it up. So you need to do everything possible to learn what you need to do and make sure that you have the correct tools so that you can pull it off successfully. I spent a lot of money to be able to do this. Honestly, I spent more than I probably actually needed to, just to have the extra comfort factor, because I didn't know as much, so I tried to compensate with money. Probably not my best advice that I would give out. Hopefully, this video series will help you out. I put out a video a little bit similar to this, and one of the major questions that I got was, what if I can't do my job remotely? Well. If you really want to do this, the answer is simple. Get a new job. And then follow up. Well, I'm skilled in X, Y, Z. That requires me to work in an office or a business or something like that. Well, again, the answer is simple. If you really want to do this, learn new skills. To get the remote job that you want to facilitate this. Now, I don't say this to be mean. I just want to be truthful with you and be real. Like, 
this life is not easy. It is not as easy as working from your spare bedroom in your house or anything like that. Like it's going to have its challenges along with the amazing parts. What you have to decide is, is it worth it to you?